when making a door frame or maybe a face frame, one of the joints that I don't think woodworkers think about often enough is a half lap joint. One piece overlies the other. The amount of glue surface is greatly increased and the strength of that door is huge. It's a great easy joint and it's real easy to make on a table saw. Let me show you how it's done. So the stock I'm gonna use for this, a couple of pieces of oak. I've got a couple of short ones and a couple of long ones. And what I wanna do is make sure that at least they're all the same width. Uh, I don't know exactly what the length is, but what you'll see is that the half lap joint is real easy to make on the table saw. So we'll start with this piece and I wanna first make the width of this first pass. And I'm gonna take the actual side piece and using my fence, lay it out with the outside edge of that dado blade. Raise this in the table saw a bit to make it easier to get there. And lock it in. So I've got the first width set up. And now I want to cut just about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch or so on the underside edge of this, just about half the thickness of that board. So if I set my rule up to a little bit less than half and raise that blade, I'm going to make a quick pass on one piece here and on this piece and then try and slide them together and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Now I've got two of these as test pieces and the idea is to see whether or not one will slide over the top of the other one. And as you can see here, I've got to remove a little bit more material. So what I'm going to do really is I've got about an eighth of an inch there, I'll split the difference. I'm going to raise that blade about a sixteenth of an inch. It'll take a couple of passes until you're finally able to pass one over the other. And when they're smooth at the top and the bottom, I'm ready to cut the full length joints. Uh, you may have noticed while I was doing it here too, I've got a, a sacrificial face on this miter gauge. It's important to have that. As that saw blade cuts, it'll provide chip out on the back unless there's some way to protect that. So just adding one of those makes it easy and I've used double stick tape for that. So now we'll just keep raising that blade a little bit at a time until we finally get to a point where one piece slides underneath the other one. So now it took a little while to raise the blade each time. And remember, if you raise it a little too much, you have to start over again. So I've pushed it up in very small increments, always on the up to see how well I do. Keep testing it until I finally find it. Once you do, then make sure that you lock the wheel down so that there's no movement that wheel the longer you do these. If you're making 10 or 15 of these frames, a lot of that vibration may slowly let that blade slide back down again and you're out of square. So, that's the idea. We've not locked the blade down. We're gonna make each one of those passes full length. So probably in two passes, maybe three passes, do it each time until we get each one of those cut and you'll see how well that frame fits together. Now all of our pieces have been cut. Time to do a little layout. And there is a really nice half lap joint. And again, putting a clamp on these will make them self-squaring. 
and you have an extremely strong joint because of the amount of glue surface between this edge and that. It's a nice way to make picture frames and door frames, something to think about, and doing it on a table saw makes it really easy.